The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. Glad I still had a way with the old Barker. After plugging a few German stormtroopers, I was on my way west, heading back towards our side of the line. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before those guns started up again.
Those trenches were packed full of the Kaiser's finest, but hopefully, most of them would be looking for trouble coming the other way. Hopefully. and German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Did anything survive the crash that might be useful? Metals. What about being heroes? 
I'm no hero. But, but you gave me your word, your bleeding word. So you think you're a decent bloke who's gonna help me? Oh, you're a lion, no good bastard. Who look me in the eye and finish it! George Rackham, are you? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> How naive do you think I am? Oh. Uh. Let's get out of here. I was losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time. Uh, this is your bloody fault. The Germans aren't really known for you. Wilson said I was a no good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because.